In this Unity tutorial I will show you how you can make a car controller without even touching any code. And also how you can create a camera that follows the car. So let's get into the video. You can use any car you like as long as it has 4 separate wheel meshes, so the wheels can turn and spin. The car I am using is free and can be found in the description. Let's start by adding a box collider to the root object. Edit the collider so it fits the car. You can use side and front view for this while being an orthographic view to make it easier. Make sure that the collider doesn't touch the ground, because the wheels need to do this and otherwise your car controller won't work. When you're done with the collider add an rigid body to the root object for physics. Now create an empty object under the car object called wheel colliders. Create another empty object which will serve as one of our wheel colliders. Position it at the front left wheel. And also name it front left collider. Add a wheel collider to it and tweak the radius and position until it fits around your wheel. Also go into front view to position it correctly. Now you can duplicate it and place it at the front right wheel. Select both wheel collider objects and duplicate it one more time for our rear wheels. Make sure to name everything correctly. Create a new script in your scripts folder and call it car controller. I said before that there wouldn't be any coding, so you can find the script in the description. Paste the script and go back to Unity. Add the car controller script to your car root object. Now you can assign all the variables. Make sure that you do this correctly. For the motor force I have 1000. Brake force, 3000, and max steer angle, 30. With this you can press play and you'll find yourself wondering where the car went. This is because we told Unity that our car was only 1 kilogram. So set the mass of our rigid body to something like 1300. You can now drive the car. But now we face another issue, and that's that the car flips really easily. Luckily this is an easy fix. Select all the wheel colliders and double the spring value and damper value. We have successfully made a car controller. You can drive with W, A, S, D, and brake with space bar. Let's now make a camera which follows the car smoothly. We will do this using Sin Machine so we don't have to code our own script. Go to Window, Package Manager and make sure that you select Unity Registry. Search Sin Machine and install the package. Once the package is successfully installed, go to your camera and add the Sin Machine Brain component. Now go to Sin Machine and choose Create Virtual Camera. We need a point on the car for the camera to follow, so create an empty object parented to the car called follow point. Position it upwards in the center of the car for the best results. I'll also give it an icon. Select your newly created, C, M, V Cam 1 and drag the follow point into the look at, and follow input slots. You can press play and you'll see that the camera now follows the car, but it looks very unnatural. So let's change that. Set and follow offset of 0, 1.2, and minus 6 under the body section. Under the aim section set horizontal damping to 0 and that's it. I appreciate you watching and please consider subscribing. If it doesn't work for you or you have a suggestion, please leave a comment down below.